we have another twig integral to evaluate and it's always if you can rewrite the integral with the integrand to make the integration a little bit easier you can do that so here I'm going to be using a double angle identity for the denominator I know that uh, sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x times cosine of x and of course I have a sign here that I can cancel with this one here 2 will go into 4 2 times so I'm left with cosine in the denominator so this would be 2 over cosine of x 2 goes into the 4 the signs cancel out and of course because the cosine and the secant are reciprocals I can bring this to the top to the numerator and make it secant of x dx and there is a formula for the integral of secant of x the constant remember you can just bring it out and I've derived this formula before in another video sometimes the instructor will expect you to know the formula so let's write it this way bring the two outside and we have secant of x here then we go secant of x dx and then we just use the formula so it'll just be two the constant and the formula for this one is the natural log of secant of x plus tangent of x and it's actually the absolute value of this expression here so put absolute values here and then you've got your constant of integration and that's your answer for this one and this is an x here and then as far as the check goes we simply take the derivative of the answer and we're supposed to get the integral. so let me just do it on the side over here the derivative of this expression the derivative of the constant of course will be zero so that'll cancel out and then the two will be constant so that'll be outside and then the derivative of a natural log of this expression here is just going to be what we have in the denominator so that'll be secant of x plus tangent of x and then it's the derivative of this expression here secant x plus tangent of x so that'll just be derivative of secant of x is secant of x times tangent of x and the derivative of tangent is secant squared so this would be plus this would be secant squared of x and remember we're trying to get the integrand here so we can factor out a secant here secant of x and we're going to have what left in the parentheses here we have tangent of x and taking out a secant here will give me secant of x we have secant of x tangent of x in the denominator which is this right here so this cancels out this cancels out it gives me a 1 times a 2 and of course a secant so I have in the numerator in the numerator then I have left a secant or 2 rather secant of x so the answer is right here but now we're just checking it so then this is going to equal to secant 2 times secant but secant and cosine are reciprocal so I can put the cosine of x here remember I'm trying to come up with 4 sine of x over sine 2 of x so let's multiply this by sine of x in the numerator that's legal as long as I multiply the denominator by that so this would be sine of x the sine of x over sine of x cancels and then I'm going to multiply by 2 here that's legal as long as I multiply the numerator by 2 so this 2 then will become a 4 and then this is equal to 
again for sine of x. And then using that identity we used at the beginning in reverse, 2 sine times cosine of x is equal to sine of 2x. And we get the same integrand from that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.